Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing my fall shop my stash. I'm so excited. This is like my favorite thing to do with my makeup collection is to rotate through my products and pick things out. Sometimes new products, sometimes very old. Anyway, I do like a random style and like I pick things that I feel are more seasonal. I think I'm going to switch things up this time because these videos are normally way too long and I don't know if it's fun for you guys to watch me spin the Tiny Decisions app. I like watching it when other people do it but I don't know. I feel like maybe it could be a little boring. But let me know which format you prefer. But anyway, the first part of this video is me going over my like the products that are currently in my shop my stash and kind of reviewing everything so we'll just start there and if you noticed i did get a new container for my shop my stash products and i leave this out on my my yellow like makeup display thing so that i always see these products like every day so to remind me what i need to use but I will say I did, there are some things this round that I actually didn't use and normally my rule for myself when I rotate through my products is that I have to use each thing at least once but there are some palettes that you will see I haven't used. So yeah, let's just start because it's going to be a long video. <laughs> the first thing I have here is my Tarte Flush Cheek Stain. This is a new product to me. I picked it up this summer um, when I went to the States, I believe. So this is like a push-up cheek stain. And this is a product Tarte had like many years ago. I think it was the first product they ever launched, if I'm correct. Um, and they relaunched them and I actually really love this. And it's been super fun to use like on kind of no makeup makeup days where I just want a little something, I can just apply this directly with the component and blend it out with my fingers and it's super easy to do. I will say this is like the deepest shade and I find like I still need to layer it up quite a bit for it to last longer. So I don't know how well the other shades would go for a light skin tone, but this one is really nice. So I'm going to put that away. I feel like it's a more summer product anyway. Um, then for my blushes, I have my Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush. This was also a new product in my collection. I picked it up at Marshalls, I think. So I love this. <laughs> this is one of my favorite blushes now. Um, but I'm going to put it back because I feel like it's very summery again. The shade is Mykonos, if I didn't say. It's just like a nice pink shade. And these blushes are pretty pigmented also. I really like them. Um, then I had a Tarte blush. This is actually one of the oldest blushes, if not the oldest blush in my collection. It's the Tarte Achiote blush. This is their Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. It looks like this. So as you can see, like I didn't wear any of the, you know, the embossing down, but these are very hard pressed blushes anyway. Um, and I feel like I have to really dig in with my brush to pick it up, but I do like the shade of this, but I'll put it back. Then I had my Tarte Spellbound Glow Rainbow Highlighter. This was actually in last round also, but I kept it in because I wanted to see if I should declutter it or not, basically. But I decided I'm going to keep it. It looks like this. It doesn't exist anymore, I'm pretty sure. But I actually really like this. I thought at first it was a bit dry for my skin type, but if you buff it in, it looks really nice. and. It's kind of a unique shade. I just mix everything together and it becomes like a cool tone, almost a little icy on me, but I think in that was just because I had a tan at the time. So I'm going to keep this and put it back in my collection. Same with the Becca Prosecco Pop. This is a little too deep for me. So 
I don't know. I'm gonna keep it because I love the Becca formula and it doesn't exist anymore. But we'll see it going forward how it compares with other shades in my collection. But I do like this one because it has like a nice like peachy undertone. And then I also really liked my MAC um, Double Gleam Extra Dimension Skin Finish. This is a very old product on the market, but it was new to me when I pulled it in, and I love this. Very hard pressed, but it's really nice and kind of more subtle compared to other highlighters that I have. Um, then let's move up here, I guess. So this is staying in because this is in my deck of panning. It's the VDL Lumi Layer Primer Fresh. So I'm keeping that here. This one I'll put back because this is not in a project. The Makeup Forever HD High Definition Primer. This is not a product that exists anymore. And it's just a little mini size. I think you can see like I use quite a bit of it, but I'll put it away. I actually like this. Um, I'm using it today. Yeah. I, I can use this up, I think. So I'll put it back in my collection. But I need to rotate through my primers anyway. Um, then I have a Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner in Crimson. I didn't use this once. I really thought I would, like, even just use it on its own. Because I didn't pull any red lip products in my collection, in my shop, my stash. Um, I think I'm going to keep this in because I now have a red lipstick in my deck of panning. So I'm going to keep this in to use with that. Um, same with this Makeup Forever Aqua Resist color pencil I did not use, but I think it's going to be really nice for fall looks because it's a like deep purple shade so I'm gonna keep that in did I use this no I thought maybe I used it on my waterline but I don't think so this is in my deck of panning also so that's staying my metalist liquid foil and glitter shadow duo from touch and soul I haven't used it yet but <laughs> it's in a project so it'll stay here um, then up here, I have a face palette from Complex Culture. This is the In The Moment Baked Highlighter and Bronzer Quad, and I love this. So this is a new brand to me. I got it in a BoxyCharm, and when I pulled this in, I mentioned, like, I think there was an error in the packaging because the two highlighters look exactly the same. But I think actually this one has a more gold undertone. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just like trying to find the difference, but I think that's what it was. But anyway, I love the formula of this. I used every shade in the palette. I brought this with me on my trip to Cuba. And yeah, I love it. So keeping this in my collection, but putting it back. Same with the Patrick Ta. Major Headlines Blush Palette. I used... I think I only used these two. Wait, is this in a project? I'm confused now. No. <laughs> okay, so I used the... Um, She's Vibrant Duo. This one here. And the She's... Baked. I actually am wearing this today and I really love it. I love the powders. I love the creams. This is one of, well, Patrick Ta blushes in general. The cream and blush duos. The cream and powder duos, whatever they're called. <laughs> I love them. So I'm definitely keeping this. It was limited edition, but you can get all three of those duos separately now. So I'm going to put that away because I feel like this shade that I didn't use, I probably won't use in the fall, so let's put that back. Um, these velour lashes I didn't use. Should I keep these in? I'll keep these in just to use at least one time. 
because they're like a nice natural lash for me so I don't mind keeping that in here this little palette I wanted to use but it kept getting overlooked and that's because I started a new series on my channel if you didn't see my palettes on the chopping block and I was really focused on those so this one got overlooked but this is the Hello Kitty the Colourpop Hello Kitty palette in Cherry Sweet and I think even though I didn't use this I'm putting it back because I mean this is a summer palette in my opinion um, so yeah I'm gonna put that back but I love the color story I didn't use this quad yet but I used another one in the collection and I loved it so I know I like the formula on those so I'll put that in my collection um, then we're on to the complexion and lip products so this first thing I love this the Fenty Beauty Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop Blurring Skin Tint I have the shade 4 this is wonderful so if you're someone that doesn't like skin tints because they're not enough coverage for you or they don't seem to do anything I think you will like this one because this has a pretty this is like medium like almost you could build it up to full coverage I would say at least for my taste and this actually does blur the skin I think better than any other skin tint that I have so this is definitely one of my favorites I'm gonna put this back but I love it um, this one on the other hand Tarte Maracuya Tinted Hydrator I feel like this doesn't do anything at all and I think my skin just absorbs this honestly so I think I'm gonna declutter this one I'm wearing it today let me look at it again yeah I don't feel like this does anything for me in fact it kind of like just accentuates my pores so I'm gonna see if my mom wants this I think the shade will be okay for her it's the shade fair light neutral so I will see if she wants this if not I'll give it to a friend um, this pretty vulgar concealer I ended up loving this I was using it mainly as my spot concealer and to be honest okay I'm sorry there's a plane going over my house every five minutes but I literally have to keep filming so this is I don't know if you can see there's um, like discoloration I guess but I don't know if that's because I used that amount or what's going on but either way there's nothing wrong with this like it doesn't smell weird or like the formula seems really good to me so I don't I don't know what that's about but I'm gonna keep this in my collection uh, I did use it under the eyes once or twice too and I liked it for that also so this one is really good I'm gonna put it back though this one is staying the never ending tart aqua sealer I am unofficially trying to pan this and I have been for like the last two years <laughs> I'm like lower than this line so I'm hoping one day it'll just be done but until then it's staying then for the lip products so this is mainly why I want to film this today because I'm sick of looking at these like summer lip colors they're just I don't know I like them but I'm just bored of it so this one is the Marc Jacobs um, enamored high shine lip lacquer in the shade forbidden fruit this one actually I really like the shade in the tube but it's very very sheer and it doesn't show up as bright as it looks I'm still gonna keep it because I love the Marc Jacobs lip glosses unfortunately they don't exist anymore but I'm gonna put this back in my collection just because it's a very summery shade to me um, this Animal Crossing lip tint right Colourpop and Animal Crossing 
lip crayon. I don't, just a tint, something like that. This was the shade Orange Cutie. This one, I didn't love the shade of this on my skin tone, but I also didn't hate it. I don't know. I'm going to keep it because it's Animal Crossing and I have the whole collection. So <laughs> this is just not like my favorite one of the duos that I got. But yeah, it was nice to have for the summertime. Um, this Too Faced Melted Matte, I was going to declutter this because I only reached for it once. And when I did, I wasn't sure how I felt about it. But I think it's because I'm not used to seeing this shade on my lips that it, I wasn't sure, like, do I not like this or am I just not used to it? <laughs> so I asked Josh and he said he liked it. And then I thought maybe I should keep it because I really do like the Too Faced Melted Matte formula. If I'm going to wear a liquid lipstick, I don't mind this formula because it's not super dry. And I usually wear it, like I have lip balm on at all times anyway. So, but I also really liked this formula when I used another shade with my Bite Beauty lip primer. So I don't mind keeping these in my collection. And this is like a more unique shade. By the way, it's Queen Bee. This is like one of their popular shades, I think. So I'm gonna keep this actually, and we'll see how much more I actually reach for it. Um, this Rimmel lipstick in the shade Trendsetter. This is one of my favorites, definitely keeping it, but I'll put it back for now. It still smells really nice and like fruity. This is another product I thought I would have to declutter, but only because I think it's expired. <laughs> because, I don't know, if you guys have the Juicy, what were these? The Lancome Juicy somethings? Like, the, oh, Juicy Shaker, right? If you have these, do they smell good? Because this does not. This smells like ingredients, like raw ingredients. <laughs> But I love the shade of this. Um, it just smells weird. I don't know. But it did, the formula is still good. So I'm gonna keep it. And this is like very old. <laughs> so it could very well be expired, but I'm not ready to let it go because I love it. Oh, that's the shade Wonder Melon, if you were wondering. And then my YSL Mini. Um, this is this shade 70. I think it's just called Nude, like Naked, because it's their famous nude shade. I love this, so I'm keeping that. There's actually quite a lot of product in this little mini, if you can see. So that will go back in my collection. I love the formula of these lipsticks from YSL. So that was everything in this, um, container. So let's look into my everyday makeup drawer next. Okay, so this part of the video might get a little shaky because <laughs> I'm just holding the camera. But this is my everyday makeup drawer. I hope that's what I said in the last clip. Did I say new makeup drawer? I don't know. But this is my everyday makeup drawer. So these are things that are in projects or just things that I use every time I do my makeup. But there is also some things that I pulled in for my Shop My Stash last go around. So let's just go over it. This will always stay in here. This is my Tatcha, the pearl under eye like treatment thing. I have to get back into using that because I keep forgetting about it, to be honest. It's like a tinted eye cream, if you were wondering. Like almost like you would use it like a color corrector, but I use it by itself. Like when I go to the office for work, this is what I use because I don't wear like a full face of makeup. Um, then I have my Urban Decay Primer Potion that's staying in. I use it every time I do eyeshadow. This NYX Glitter Glue, I always forget that I own it and I should use it. So <laughs> it's gonna stay there. I should have used it today with the Glamlight and Michaela palette, but 
I forgot about it. Um, this Charlotte Tilbury Dream Pop Mascara. It's like a berry brown shade. I love this. I've been wearing this like almost every time I do my makeup. At least if it goes with the look. Like today it didn't so I'm wearing the Anastasia one. But yeah. So all the mascaras in here. I don't rotate my mascaras. So they're just in here until I use them up or they dry out or they expire or whatever. So this will stay in. Um, same with the Anastasia. I'm just trying to use that up. This one is... I don't know if you guys saw this one because I finished my Wet n Wild Mega Length which was the mascara I was using for my lower lash line and I needed another one because this Anastasia one has a huge like thick wand that is just not good for lower lash mascara so I chose this one from my collection because it's pretty old um, I think this flakes on me a little but that could just be because it's old but I do like the wand and I like everything else about it. I like how it separates my lashes. Um, this is the only primer I have, well lash primer, I have in my collection so it just stays here. The L'Oreal Voluminous Focus. L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. Then I have my only um, waterproof mascara from Lancome, the Monsieur Big. That just stays here because it's open basically and I use it like if I'm going somewhere where I might cry <laughs> or uh, if it's like raining out and I have to be somewhere where I'm wearing makeup but that's pretty rare so it doesn't get used much but the formula is still good. My e.l.f. like makeup remover pen always stays here. I rarely use it because I don't do a lot of like liquid liner and that's what I would use to clean it up with. And then my Tarte Fake Awake, I use this quite often for my waterline when I when my eyes are looking red. That's just a nude eyeliner that I like. Um, then down here, this is the lip balm I'm currently trying to use up. The Pure Lease Daily Lip Nourisher. I really like it. I don't love the squeeze tube lip balms, but I really like the formula of that one. Then this is the red lipstick I was talking about that's in my deck of panning. So keeping that in. I'm sorry I'm not showing you the products, like opening them, but I only have one hand, so because I'm filming this with the other hand. Then my e.l.f. lip scrubber, it's always in here in case I want to use it. Then this is my Bite lip primer I was talking about. This has been, well, Bite like doesn't exist anymore, right? You can only go to like their storefront. Um, but this was the primer they used to have before they reformulated it, but it's still working fine. I like to use this with liquid lipsticks to make them less dry. Then this is my never-ending Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint that I'm trying to use up. It's in my deck of panning. Same with this Physician's Formula Organic Wear BB Cream. That's like all I have left in this line here. I'm hoping it's like one more use, but it's probably more. <laughs> but that will stay until I'm done. Then up here, I have my new favorite loose powder and you might be like you don't even use powder what are you talking about well i've started using a bit of powder um mainly to like blur my pores like around my nose and also at the same time i use it to like lightly set my under eye concealer and it's been working really well this is from opv beauty i got this in a boxy charm um, but it's really nice and it feels like it's the same packaging as the Laura Mercier powder so it's like a nice like heavy thick component. I really like the formula of the powder. It's like 
thin and it doesn't make me look super dry. It will if I use too much of it, but I use a very tiny amount. But anyway, I really like this, but I'm going to put it back because I'm trying to rotate through some other powders that I have to see if I like them. But this one I do really like. Um, these were from the brand Cab. They're the Lemon and Lime Lip Oil Duo. I love these also. These are the kind of lip oils that make your lips look like you got filler, <laughs> basically. Because they like smooth out all the lines. I'll try and open this so you can actually see. I used both of them. Not like super often. Because because they're just clear lip oils, but this is the lime one. This it smells like lime, and then, oh my god, the lemon one smells like lemon. Of course, I love these, but I'll put them back. I pulled these in because I thought they were very summery, but yeah, I love these, and I love the packaging and the giant doe foot is really nice on the lips. Uh, finally. My Aether Beauty Pure Diamond Dust Highlighter. This was in my deck of panning and I actually reached my goal on it, which was to use it at least 10 times. But I'm going to keep it in here until I film my deck of panning update for September. So I'll probably use it again just because. Uh, but yeah. I met my goal on this. It's one of my favorite highlighters anyway. So love that one. Um, then these are the brow products I'm using. So my Kosas Clear Brow Gel, which replaced my Milk Makeup one. I like this one a lot better. This NYX Brow Pen, this was pulled in for my Shop My Stash, but I think I'm gonna put it back. I only used it once, to be honest. I used it a lot, like previously, but the last time I used it, I felt like it didn't look good with my hair color. Because I had this shade, um, ash brown, and in the summer, my hair turns like almost red. So this looked really strange. <laughs> um, but usually, I do really like this. Pen. So I'll put it back in my collection. The form, it's still like working fine and everything. So yeah, that's the story with that one. And then this I'm unofficially trying to pan. It seems never ending. The Essence Make Me Brow. I've had this for like three years. <laughs> I don't know, something insane. And every time I use it recently, I'm like, okay, I think this is the last time. But it just keeps going. And I still like it. I don't love it, well, no, I don't love it, but I like it enough to at least pan it. And I have the shade Soft Brownie Brows. And then my setting spray for my last Shop My Stash was the In Beauty Power Up. And I actually love this. Um, the only issue is the pump is broken. So it doesn't spray correctly, but I love the smell of it. I love how it feels. Sometimes I just use this like even when I wasn't wearing makeup because that's what it's meant for also. It's like a, you know, energizing spray. So I'll put, look, I got a lot of good use on it. This was brand new when I pulled it in. Like it still was in the plastic wrap. So. Uh, but I'll, yeah, I'll put this back in my collection because it's very summery also. And then over here, nothing changes. Just my sponge is here, my sharpener, my beauty blender puff, my color switch, and my Odin's Eye Mirror, which I ended up using, like, almost in every video that I film. So I'm really glad I got this in the mystery box. And then I have this Sephora makeup tape, which I always think I'm going to use for like a fun look, but I never do. <laughs> but it fits there, so I'll just keep it for now. So now I'm going to... What am I going to do? I think I'm going to pull some 
random products using my Tiny Decisions app. But I'll, I won't go through it on camera because it's going to take way too long. But I'll show you what I pulled after and then we'll see, see what's what. <laughs> I don't know. I'll be back. Actually, I forgot to mention the palettes that were in my Shop My Stash because I keep them in this organizer. But these are also palettes in my Pandos eyeshadows. So this one is Staying, the Violet Voss Essentials the Anastasia Sultry. Uh, this one is one that I rolled in my shop, my stash, but I didn't end up using. But I think I'm keeping it in because I think I can make it work for fall because it has like these fun greens and if I could open it, <laughs> these fun greens and purples. So I'm gonna keep that in. Also going to keep my Pat Patrick Ta um, Major Dimension 2 because I still haven't used it and it's still in the box. Um, this one, I think I'm going to put away even though I haven't used it yet. The Huda Beauty Color Block because this is just not something I'm going to do a fall look with. It's all super bright colors so I'm gonna put that away but I am planning on doing a Huda Beauty video where I try all my Huda Beauty palettes because I have a lot of them that I haven't used yet so I'm gonna put that away but you might see it soon. Um, I'm gonna keep my Vive palette in because I didn't use this one either and it's so nice for fall so let me show you. So yes, this looks beautiful for some nice fall looks. So I'm gonna keep that in. And then this is in my pen, those eyeshadows, the Makeup Forever Artist Shadow 3. Same with this Barbarella palette and my Nikki Tutorials Beauty Bay. So those stay as they are. But I guess I have room to bring in an extra palette. So I'm going to roll for that one as well and you'll see it later when I show you everything I pulled. Hey guys, so it's actually a different day. I ran out of time um, yesterday when I was filming because this whole process just takes me a while. So let me show you what I pulled using my Tiny Decisions app, which is like a random wheel if you're not familiar. Um, yeah, so this is my new Shop My Stash thing. Uh, I guess we'll start here with the lip products. So the first thing I pulled was, well, this isn't in order, but let's just say. <laughs> the first thing is this Tower 28 uh, Shine On Lip Jelly in the shade Almond. So actually my wheel, it landed on Tower 28 for a lip product and I was like, Oh, but I have multiple. I believe I only have two of these lip glosses, but this is definitely the oldest one. And it's the shade Almond, if I didn't say. Um, so people are saying like these expire very quickly, so I'm really happy that I pulled this out. And it does kind of smell different <laughs> than it used to. It doesn't smell bad, it just smells like raw ingredients, so hopefully the formula is still like good on the lips and I do really like this brownie shade, so yeah, I'll be using that one. And I have to say, a lot of these really turned out good for fall, I feel. The next one is actually kind of similar. It's a NYX Intense Butter Gloss in Peanut Brittle. Actually, I wanted to swatch these because they look really similar, actually. Okay, no, they're not. They looked similar by the eye, but as in the swatch, you can really tell they're different. So this is Almond from Tower 28, and this is the NYX Butter Gloss, Intense Butter Gloss <clears throat> in Peanut Brittle. 
Um, the intense butter gloss are the more opaque ones, I believe. I'm not even sure if they still make those, but yeah, these look like two really nice nudes that I love. Then I pulled a lipstick from Charlotte Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Bond Girl, which I think is a really nice fall shade, actually, because it's kind of like that purpley mauve, but I guess like a berry tone, which is like a deeper shade that I would wear in the fall, so happy about that one. Then I have a tinted lip balm from Physician's Formula in the shade Ginger Snap. Yes, Ginger Snap. This is actually a tinted lip treatment. It's very emollient, like it almost feels like it's melted and it very well could be because it gets extremely hot in this room. But look how perfect for fall. Then the shade is called Ginger Snap. It's just really fun. Then I pulled this NARS Laguna Mini this is their Afterglow lip balm, I believe. This was the birthday gift last year, and I haven't used it yet. It was in my new makeup drawer until recently, so I'll give you a swatch, but I mean, it's just a tinted lip balm, and you, you can see it's very sheer, so I'll have no problems using that. And then I pulled one of my Bite lipsticks, which is also good, because I need to be rotating through these, and it's a perfect fall shade. It's actually called Chai, and this looks like that. It's kind of similar to the Charlotte Tilbury, but it's obviously deeper. Um, but it's like the same color family, right? And it still smells fine. It looks okay in the tube. So hopefully I can get some good use on this one. Um, then I guess we'll move on this way. I pulled for blush this Primrose and Cream Lip and Cheek Cream Palette. So it is a lip and cheek palette from Seraphine Botanicals. I got this in a BoxyCharm and I love the shades here. I have not used this yet. It's brand new. Well, I mean, it's not brand new in my collection, but I, like, I haven't even swatched it, so excited about that one. And for bronzer, I pulled this Tower 28 Bronzino. If you saw my haul video, I just got this in the Sephora Favorites dewy, dreamy, whatever, <laughs> some kind of clean makeup kit. I actually have used this a few times because I brought it with me. I brought the whole kit with me on like a on Labor Day long weekend. I went to visit my family in Ontario and I had packed this and I'd used it. I'm not sure if it did much because <laughs> I am, I do have a tan. So, but maybe going into fall, it will show up more. I don't know. I do feel this is more of a summer product, but I'd like to get some use out of it anyway, because it is from Tower 28 and their products just seem to not have a good shelf life, I guess. Um, so for foundation, I rolled in my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy. This might be a bit too light for me right now. It's the shade uh, Soft Ivory, but we'll see going into fall when I lose my tan. I do really like this foundation and I would recommend it from the drugstore. It's super affordable. Uh, for powder, I rolled in this Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. I think this is more like a powder foundation or something you wear on its own, but I'm going to try and use it as a powder and see if I like it or on its own. We'll see what I do. It's just a little sample, so hopefully I can maybe even finish this. I don't know. That's very ambitious. <laughs> but we have that. <clears throat> then up here, I rolled in my Physician's Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer. I think people used to say this was a dupe for the Becca one. I don't have that one, but I do remember really liking this. It's very like, 
it feels very moisturizing and kind of thick like a gel so I don't know if you have oily skin if you'd like that but that is something I'll probably really like but it's actually kind of similar to this VDL primer that is in my deck of panning so let me I think this one is more sheer and I don't actually maybe not <laughs> the physician's formula one is more like a champagne shade and this one is more like a I don't know a silver anyway I like I really like this I'm trying to use it up because it's expired if I didn't mention that in the last clip already um then up here I have two lip liners this one you already saw the Smashbox Crimson but then I pulled in this new one from my new makeup drawer from Kosas, it's the Hot Liner Hyaluronic Acid Plumping Lip Liner in the shade Max. This looks beautiful and like it's gonna go with a lot of my shades. Okay, it's actually <laughs> very dry feeling. That better not be expired. I literally just got it. But that's the shade, so yeah, that's a nice nude. Hopefully it'll warm up as I use it. And then I have a Tarte Maracuya Glossy Lip Oil. I love this. I love the smell of this, but I've said before, this is not a lip oil, it's a lip gloss. I don't know why they call it a lip oil, but I really like this. And then I also pulled another product from Tarte, the Maracuya Juicy Lip in the shade Holiday Spritz. This was a limited edition shade. I'm running out of space to swatch things. <laughs> um, it was in a holiday kit, hence the name, but it's a really pretty like pinky nude. I actually wore this already yesterday when I went out. Yeah, I really like these. They're very similar to the Makeup by Mario Plumping Lip Serums, I think they're called. Like it's a product you click up and it's very like soft and almost gloss like so that's fun and then the only thing that's changed up here is i pulled a black liquid liner this is the dragon liner i think this is from i don't even know i got this in a boxy charm but i don't remember the brand but it came with a liquid liner and a pencil one, so I haven't used this yet. Um, you guys know, like, I don't really wear black liquid liner, but I'll try it because it's in my shop, my stash now. Then moving back over here, I don't know why I did it <laughs> in this order. Um, I always like to have two concealers because Clearly, this one is still going strong, but I pulled in this new one, still in the box, from Item Beauty. This is the Air Hug Concealer. I have the shade 100, and it's it looks like this. I think this is a good shade for me. So, yeah, I have not even swatched it or anything, clearly. Um, I like to keep it in the box for now because I want to read about it when I get around to using it because I don't know anything about this product. Like I said, it came in a boxy charm. But this is a new product at Sephora, I'm pretty sure. Well, I guess it launched when Item Beauty launched, which I guess has been a while now in makeup years, <laughs> in makeup months. But yeah, I don't know much about that. Um, then I have my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. Yes, it's returning again. The universe just really wants me to use these Makeup Forever <laughs> powder foundations. So this time I really have to use this because it's been in several Shop My Stash and I never use it. I'm really going to force myself to see if I even like this. Um on my face on its own it is a powder foundation i mean i know I, I do like it because i've tried it before 
and I really liked how it looked, especially for dry skin. I feel like this is a good powder foundation. It's just that I don't reach for powder foundation, so we'll see about that. Then I pulled this NARS Narcissist Wanted One Cheek Palette. I haven't used this in a really long time. These are the shades. There's a highlighter in this palette also, but that could be fun for fall. This like cool tone shade will be nice too when it's not 30 degrees out, <laughs> if that happens. Um, then I also pulled another palette. This is from MAC. This was from Holiday many years ago. The MAC Star Dipped Face Palette in Light. So I will be using this as highlighter or like blush topper shades. I don't remember how I feel about this, so I'm glad I pulled it to reacquaint myself with that. I'm leaving my velour lashes in. And then for these two, I pulled, so I rolled for another bronzer because I was like, I'm not just gonna have the Tower 28 bronzer. And I got, the Ofra California Dream Triangle for bronzer. So I was like, okay, well I guess I'm pulling in this whole palette then. So there's other bronzers. This one is also a bronzer, Egyptian Clay. There's Americano. So I'll just probably use all of these things. I did already own the Rodeo Drive and the Beverly Hills Highlighter in singles. So I know I like those and yeah, I'm excited to try this. I can use this as blush also. So this is very versatile. And then this is very exciting. For a palette, I pulled in this Lunar Beauty Nude Prism. If you saw my haul video, you know I literally just got this from BoxyCharm for $15, which was a great deal. I think it was $15, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm so excited to play with this. I'll show you it again because it's just so beautiful. So that's the packaging and the inside is like a pinky neutral palette, but I I love that for me. <laughs> and I swatched this in that video and I was like very impressed by the quality and the pigment. So I am very excited to play with this. So next I will show you, let's, we'll go back over to my other palettes and we can pull some additional products because I have two more, I have two empty spaces here. So I think I have some fall things that I want to get use out of this time of year. So let's do that next. Okay, so we're down here in my like makeup thing that you see in the background of my videos. Um, I think I'm good on lip gloss. These are all lip glosses here. Um, then I have some powder blushes, but I feel like I already have too many blushes to go. But I probably would have pulled this one in, the Burt's Bees um, Toasted Cinnamon. Is that what it's called? Yeah. That's a really nice fall blush but yeah like I said already so many down here is more blush so <laughs> that's fine um, but behind this thing oh my god I can't do this with one hand so or can I maybe I have more stuff back here so let me look at this, because this is my ColourPop. I know I said I was good on lip products, but I have these Hocus Pocus ones. And wouldn't this be a good time to use these? <laughs> I don't know. Because they'll... I mean, maybe there's like a vampy shade, I think. Is it this one? Yes. <clears throat> this shade with Winifred on it. It is Tonight We Fly. It's like a very deep purple. I think I should pull this in. Be 
because if I don't use these products this time of year, when will I? That will be a fun one to do like a spooky look with maybe. And then I also wanted to look at my Too Faced <laughs> section because I'm sure there's something pumpkin spice related in here. And I actually have the new PSL um, melted matte whatever in my Sephora cart. So maybe I can talk myself, myself out of that by <laughs> just using one that I have already. Like this one. <clears throat> this is the Too Faced melted matte in pumpkin spice. Yes, we have to do that one. I only have, do I have any? No, I didn't pull any liquid lipsticks, so this will be good. Um, what's this one? This one looks fun too. Hot buttered rum, no. I mean, yeah, but <laughs> that's enough. I think the rest of these are more for Christmas. And this is the one I just put back, the Queen Bee shade, so I'm good on those. Okay, so is that it? We have all this over here also. Um, I don't want to pull any more lipsticks though, I don't think. These are my ColourPop <laughs> plushes and other various ColourPop things. Get on that. Let me move this. This is my insane cream blush drawer, which honestly is not looking how I would like, but yeah. Um, I already have that cream blush palette, but this is kind of calling to me. My Rare Beauty liquid blush in the shade Love. I haven't used this like since I got it and this is a very nice like terracotta shade. I think I should pull this as well. Oh, I should also start using my t um, Hocus Pocus mirror again this time of year. I'm just going to put that out so I remember that I have it because it was in this thing and you couldn't even see it. Um, and this drawer is face palettes but I already pulled too many face palettes and like a thing of lipsticks on top so I'm good on on those. Then up here I have this spinny thing that has more lip products in it. Oh, my spider stamp. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna use that on a daily basis so that's fine. I have more setting sprays here, but I already pulled one. I'm good on eyeliners and brow products, which I'll show you in a bit, because I put those in my everyday makeup drawer. This is my lip liner cup, but I already have two lip liners pulled. If I need another one, I'll just come and get it from here. And then this is a new thing which I honestly don't really know how I want to do it in the future, but right now it's just like um, the stuff that was in that my old container that is now my Shop My Stash container, I had to put that stuff somewhere because it doesn't fit anywhere else. So in here I just have brow products. Here are powder blushes. Um, bronzers, cream and powder. This is my new lip drawer and my Fenty because they just fit in here. And this is why I can not buy any more lip products because I don't have, I literally don't have any more room to put them. As you saw in those containers at the, below, they're all full. So, and now this is full. So I can't, I can't do that. Um, although I do have more coming because I bought the Harry Potter collection <laughs> from ColourPop. What is wrong with me? This is ColourPop blushes from different collections. Animal Crossing, Hello Kitty. This is a new blush I got from Benefit, just a mini one in the shade Krista. 
And then I have more excess new lip products. The new Natasha Denona Dream Collection and the Glamlight Michaela um, trio that I used in my Glamlight video. I don't know if that's going up before or after this one, but either way, that's something I used already, so I put it here. And then these are more bronzers, <laughs> which I'm good on, so that's okay. And then coming back to my palette organizer, the only thing that's changed here is because I put back that Huda Beauty color block, I pulled in another palette to replace it, the Winky Lux Kitten palette. This is actually a palette I considered putting into my palettes on the Chopping Block series. So we'll see how I like it. I just found the last time I used it, I didn't really like my look. Although I like the shades individually, it's hard to do like a cohesive look with this palette. I mean, unless you just stick to the neutrals, but then, I mean, I have so many other palettes that are neutral. So we'll see if I keep this one. Honestly, the packaging is why I don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> Mainly, it's just so cute. So that's the only difference in this thing. And then back here, this is now where I keep my other setting sprays. As you can see, I have a MAC Fix Plus obsession. <laughs> oh my god. These are different scents, but one of them, I have a duplicate because I just got this mini in the Sephora Favorites kit. So this is a brand new one, but I'm trying to use up this one, which is the old packaging. That used to be in my travel bag. But I already pulled setting spray, and I don't feel like I need to pull multiple setting sprays. So, yeah. So then back over here in my everyday makeup drawer, I'll just tell you what's changed. The only thing is I pulled my Kosas Brow Pop, which is fun because I'm using the Kosas Brow Gel. And actually, once I'm done with the Make Me Brow, which I think will be very soon, I'll pull in the Kosas one and then I'll be using like the whole kit because I did get those in a, a kit that you're meant to use like everything together. And then this is the setting spray I pulled in, my Half Magic Dewlock Hydrating Set and Refresh Mist. I really liked this when I tried it so happy about that. And that's, yeah, that's it for this drawer. You saw everything else in my last video and yes I am wearing pajamas <laughs> so let's just go through these drawers so my highlighter drawer is bursting at the seams which is a new thing for me this used to be like my most organized drawer and now it's looking a little crazy I've had to start putting things on the side here like my new Michaela pot two palette but I already I think I'm good on highlighters because I have that Ofra palette the NARS palette has a highlighter in it the MAC star dip yeah that's way too many highlighters already but I have my like fancy ones back here and I finally put away my Charlotte Tilbury one it was in my new makeup drawer still in the box but I just wanted to have it. <clears throat> I just wanted to have it out because it's so pretty. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is getting to be a lot. This is my new makeup drawer, which is pretty well organized because I just fixed everything up except for this little Pat McGrath thing that's on top. But it doesn't fit anywhere else, so. I'm good on this. Actually, I will say when I was doing my random, um, my Tiny Decisions app, I did pull in the Danessa Myricks, um, but I pulled in the shade XOXO, which is like the brightest, most vibrant shade in the palette. So I kind of vetoed that one because I don't feel like it's gonna go with my fall theme makeup. 
I do my makeup very seasonally. Like I like to use different color palettes per season. And this just wouldn't go. It's this one. It's like a bright fuchsia. <laughs> so I thought, I mean, it would be good to use this because it's just sitting here. But yeah, I already have a cream blush palette anyway that has more fall shades that I can use. And that's older. So yeah, I think I'm good on lip products. Eyeshadow palettes, I have plenty. <laughs> yeah, I think. That's good for this drawer. This bag is all drugstore makeup because I'm planning to do a drugstore try-on haul. So I haven't even shared a lot of this on my channel yet. And now it's like irrelevant. <laughs> like this e.l.f. Cookies and Dreams palette. I mean, does anyone care about this anymore? Especially if you live in America. You've had like five e.l.f. collections since this one, but this one is actually still in stores in our Walmarts in Canada, at least near me. So there's that. And then I also got this new, oops, my hand stuck. I just got this when I went to the States, the NYX This Is Milky Gloss. It's from their new collection. Well, it's not really new anymore but it was like their summer collection. Please focus. Okay, there. This is Milky. This is the Mango Lassie, I think. Yes, Mango Lassie. I really like this. I've used it already. It just put it in here to, you know, mention at some point. Uh, that collection never came to Canada, so I'm glad I got to get it. As well as this LA Girl. LA Girl Sunkiss Glow. Everybody was raving about this, saying it's like, you know, up there with Sephora um, quality brands. I'm trying to open it with one hand. It looks like this. It's just like a nice neutral bronze palette that I had to try. Uh, this was actually kind of expensive though, for what I was like imagining, I think it was $17.99 US. So that's probably like 25 or more dollars Canadian. And I thought LA Girl was like more affordable than like Wet n Wild, but I don't know. Apparently the quality is great. So that is still probably a really good price for this palette. Um, yeah, so, but I don't need to pull that in because I'm going to try and film that video anyway and these products will hopefully get used and then I have mascaras but I'm good on those and then I have more new stuff back there but that's that's enough for now oh look at my if you saw my fall haul I don't know the order of any of these videos anymore because I've been filming a lot and haven't had time to edit, but I got a new mug for fall. It says pumpkin spice, <laughs> everything nice. Uh, it's the Ray Dunn, if you didn't know. And this is my mug warmer from Amazon that I use like literally every day. And if you're wondering, yes, Ray Dunn mugs fit, just fit really on the, the mug warmer. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that. <laughs> This here is my obviously very messy primer, concealer, and foundation drawer. I am happy everything fits in one drawer for it being three different categories, but it's obviously not very like organized. I try because I try to put only concealers in this square these are only skin tints and foundations, but then there's overlap like <laughs> in here with primers and everything. So, and then minis, my powder foundation brush, this random kabuki brush, more primers back there, and more things on the side. So I'm really trying to, you know, whittle this down, but obviously it's, it's a lot of things, so. 
And I did just order the new House Labs foundation and it's coming today. So stay tuned for a review on that. And I don't know where it's gonna go because there's no room in here. This is my mini palette drawer and lashes behind. And this one, I like how it's organized, but I don't need to pull any more minis. This is not really focusing, is it? But I think you get the idea. Last drawer is more palettes, which I don't need to pull, but I wanted to show you anyway, because you might be wondering why I'm not showing you <laughs> some of the drawers. But anyway, I think that is it. I went through, yeah, all my sections. Yeah, I think I'm good on products for the next couple of months. Usually I like to do a shop my stash for every season. So this one is like my fall slash Halloween. So it might be a while before I do it again, but I definitely will do like a more holiday theme one once we get there, but let's calm down. It's still, it's not even fall yet officially. So I need to calm down. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like. I'm sorry if this last clip is out of focus, but yeah, if you liked it, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!